If you are like me and you have a bit of a love or an affinity for the vintage style, the vintage vibes, home decor, then you are going to love today's video because I am sharing with you some of my favorite home finds that have that like vintage vibe, vintage feel, but you can get them on Amazon. Number one are these flower pictures. I actually have two different variations. I have the hydrangea variation in a smaller print that I have here in my office. And then I have the poppies variation that's in the house. To tell you that I'm impressed with the quality of these, I feel would be an understatement. I don't think I have low expectations. Maybe I do, I'm a Southern gal after all. We bred for low expectations, but both of these have exceeded my expectations. The quality is amazing. I truly cannot believe the quality for the price. I love the wood frames. I love the like canvas look to them. They are stunning. Probably end up with like one variation in every room in my house. If you too love the vintage vibes, the vintage style, leave me a comment down below and let me know because I can do more videos like this if you would like to see them. If you like this kind of home decor style or just stuff like that in general, let me know down below. Next, we have these little tassels. I honestly probably should have done the research before I sat down to film this to tell you like exactly what people use these tassels for or maybe what they're meant for. I thought they were like drapery tassels, so I was gonna use them on my curtains to like give the curtains a waist, you know, give them a little bit of a shape, a figure, if you will. But then they didn't fit. My curtains were too fat. So I couldn't make that work and then I got this great idea and I'm like, why don't I just hang them over my lamps? Like that'll give like the lamps a little zhuzh, a little something extra. And I was like, oh, if that's what they're intended for, I doubt it, then it makes a lot of sense and I feel kind of dumb for trying to fit them on my curtains. But if not, I feel like a genius. They just add this extra layer in the room, especially as we've like really dwindled down decor and things like that. I don't have a lot of stuff in every room other than dog hair. There's a lot of that. I love the like layered feel that it gives the room. So love these tassels, comes in a lot of colors. Not that kind of tassel. I have waxed poetic many times about my love for my candle warmers. These, in my humble opinion, extend the life of your candles. They make your whole house. It just like permeates the smell in a way that like lighting the candle doesn't. And also I have children and dogs and all kinds of things that might jump on counters and knock candles off. So I do love burning candles, but I really love these warmers. Plus they kind of do double duty as a lamp. As I have been told many times by the experts of which I am not one, the only time you should have overhead light known is if you're looking for a missing earring. The rest of the time you should light your rooms with lamps. And let me tell you what a vibe change that has made in my home. I love it so much. People turn on overhead lights. I turn into like a witch. I'm like, ah, watch all the light. I love lighting our rooms with lamps and like accent lighting. It's just so much more inviting and cozy and I love it. These warmers, you turn them on, you can adjust the brightness, you can adjust, well, the brightness is also like the heat, right? They melt your candles, they make the smell of the candle like go everywhere, permeate the entire house. They look beautiful and lovely and this like crystal one definitely has that like vintage. When I say vintage, I just mean like old lady, okay? Old lady Angie. I don't know vintage what era, don't ask me that. I just, old lady Angie. That's that's what it is, it's old lady Angie. Next we have this lovely tapestry style lamp shade. I got this thing a while ago and it took me a hot minute to find a lamp to put it on because you kind of like, you needed the right look for it. And I ended up finding actually a very affordable lamp at Walmart. So I'll link to that as well. Even though it's on Amazon, I know I said all the stuff was from Amazon. The lamp shade is from Amazon and I love it. It definitely has that old world, old school vibe, especially like the burgundy and the tan. And it's got that like tapestry look to it. It's really pretty. I love it. It adds to the, the vintagey feel that I like out here, especially in my cabin office. Let me tell you about these little doorknobs here, all right? First of all, I was a little sticker shocked. I thought they were like a little pricey for a doorknob, especially for like an interior door. But I thought, you know, we're just trying to like piece by piece make our home like really unique and different. I mean, it's unique because it was built in the 1930s and renovated in the 1980s and nothing, it, you can tell, right? It's like a dog walking on its hind legs. You're like, wait, what's happening here? I'm trying to like mesh it together. I'm trying to squish it together and make it into something that makes sense. So I love bringing in those like vintagey vibes wherever I can. And these doorknobs, I thought this would be a good way to like step it up. We have these big like wide doors like you would see in an older home. Anyways, the quality of these are absolutely amazing. They're a little bit on the pricier end. So I personally, 
it would take me a long time. Like I'll just get like one a month and go through my whole house. I, maybe I shouldn't even say that because I feel like sometimes the home decor things that I see people like link to and share when they're renovating, I'm like, my gravy, like who can afford to put $100 handles on all their cabinets? Like that's insane, but whatever. These door handles, I love them. They definitely give the vibe. There's actually a few different options. And now listen, you could go for the straight like gold with crystal knob. We've all seen that. You probably, your grandma probably has it in her house right now. And I like that too, I'm not gonna lie. I actually do like that. Isn't it funny how everything comes back around? Although I think stuff like that never left. I really like these. There's different shapes. You can do circles, you can do ovals. There's no squares that I saw, but the shapes that make sense for a doorknob. Now this is not exactly home decor, but you wanna talk about a vibe check for your home? This is a vibe check, okay? It's a nightlight but it looks like a little candle, like your 1800s and your like dressing gown, like your Scrooge going through the house, getting ready to go to bed with their like de ooh, undigested cheese in your belly. It's so cute, gives all the vintagey vibes. I love this so much. These are like the little touches, cute. It's not even all that quirky, right? But like, and I get this from my mother, by the way. My mother has like this very same style. Like it's like hidden gems in her house. When you go to her house, you'll like see something and read the sign and from afar, it just looks normal. You get up close and you like read the thing and it's got some cheeky saying on it or whatever. It's just like the hidden gems in your house. And to me, this little uh, nightlight candle, looks like a, a candlestick nightlight, is such like a little hidden gem and I really like it. All right. Is it necessary? No. Nothing's really necessary except for like food, water, and a roof over your head. And I suppose love. love. Other than that, nothing's really necessary. So don't come at me for my weird quirky things that they make me happy. You know, and I just wanna say, first of all, this list is very long and I'm actually gonna to have to break this into multiple videos cause it would just be, like when I sat down to list out all the things for this video, I was like, it was way too much for one video. So I'm gonna break it up into two videos cause well, I feel as though I found some really good stuff over the years. I wanna share it with you because I know some of you guys love the weird stuff and love the quirky stuff, the hidden gems, the unique stuff like I do. Wall hooks, who knew? These like brass, gold brass looking wall hooks are great. They're coat hooks, you know, but there's so many places that you can use these in your bathroom, um, in your laundry room. Like at, I put one out here for like a coat hook when I come out here to my lay office and I need to hang up my jacket then I have a place to hang it up. I, they're just a lovely little touch, okay? Again, we talked about, I don't know that this would be a hidden gem. It would be a hidden gem if it was like a snake head or something, but it's still a lovely little touch. There's touches and there's gems. This is a touch. Are you still here? Are you still watching? Are you like, who's this lady? Why am I even here? I don't wanna hear, you know what? I take that back. I don't wanna hear it. Those of y'all who watched my weirdo gift guide, you know, I can see how many people click on the links the shame for the number of you that clicked on the link for the very last thing I shared in that video. Okay. And then I can see how many of you bought it. I think that that Etsy seller who made that item, which I'm not going to mention in this video, you're going to go have to watch the video because just mentioning it got the last video demonetized. I didn't even show it. I just mentioned it in the video and YouTube demonetized me. I'm like, I saw how many of you bought it. And I feel like that Etsy seller was probably just like, oh my gosh, like why is there a run? on this particular item right now, what's happening? You're welcome, Etsy seller, you're welcome. Which reminds me, I think I would like to do an Etsy favorites video because I love supporting like small businesses, creatives, people who are making unique things like what I shared in that video amongst many other things that are much more appropriate than that, okay? I don't know, how would y'all feel about that? Maybe we could do like some favorite finds on Etsy, yeah? Give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below if you think you'd like to see something like that. Ah. The next thing, you can kind of see it behind me here, is this like sconce candle holder for the wall. I need to actually put a candle in it. I was very curious about this because I thought about getting these for outside because the listing shows them as like an outdoor item, but then I thought, well, it really goes with the vibes in here. So maybe I'll just put it in here first and see what I think. I really like it. So I'm going to put one of my Amazon battery powered candlesticks in it because well, I'm not gonna burn an actual candle out here unless I don't have power um, or run out of batteries. But I love this. I love the vibes. I love the feel, especially if you get the candlesticks from Amazon. I will link to these as well that have the flickering end. So it, they look very real. They feel almost like waxy and then the wick looks like a real wick and they flicker just a little bit. It's not cheesy. Like it looks very, very real. I really like this and these would be great outdoors or indoors. I have mine indoors. You could put yours outdoors. You could also paint this. You could also get like some of the uh, rub and buff or the rust-oleum one and like make it copper if you wanted to. Lots of ideas with that. 
I also recently added these over the door hangers, these brass. Again, they just kind of have that like vintage style, vintage vibe to them. Them, They're great for like hanging purses on. Uh, you could do them in the bathroom for like robes and stuff. But to me, if I'm gonna put like the nice brass ones up and not the cheap $5 ones from Target, then they're gonna go on a door where I am actually might hang things that I don't mind looking at like my scarves or a coat or maybe my handbag or something like that. That's kind of a little bit more prominent. It just makes it look a little nicer or maybe my apron, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and mention these even though I haven't actually used them yet because the reviews were really positive and from what I can see of the product, they look very nice. I actually got two different types of wallpaper. So this is peel and stick. This one that is like sort of more of the two-tone, I'm actually gonna replace what I did on my cabinets out here in my office because it's coming apart and it didn't like quite turn out exactly how I wanted and it just doesn't quite go with the vibes as much as I would like as I've sort of changed them. You know, I love to change, especially my office. I'm like, this is my play place. I change things out here all the time. I'm going to use this peel and stick wallpaper on those cabinets, but then they have one that looks like a William and Morris print that I got. I just got one roll because I thought I don't even know exactly what I want to do with this yet, but I just like, fell in love with it. So I might line the inside of a cabinet or something with it. I, I got to think of an idea of some place that I can put this reasonably because what I have discovered is that living in the South, we cannot just put up wallpaper on our walls like normal humans. It's so humid. I guess our air conditioners, our house is very like discombobulated and spread out in awkward ways. Like we can't even use a full central heating and air. We have to have like mini splits to keep our house uh, hot and cold because it's just laid out so funny. We've been dealing with like mold issues in our bathroom because we just can't get the humidity out. Uh, we live in South Carolina and it gets very hot and very humid here. Great for the skin, great for the hair. Bad for wallpaper, bad for indoor air quality. It's a trade-off. With that said, I hung wallpaper up in my living room and it is peeling. I've tried fixing the seams and it continues to peel and I, I did not cheap out. I used a very nice adhesive, the highly recommended stuff, a really nice quality wallpaper, not a peel and stick, it's a pasted. I spent days, I mean, I did my job, okay? And it's just not staying. And I think it's because this is like the one room too that like doesn't actually have any great air that gets to it. So the humidity is just too bad and the wallpaper's peeling off. Why am I telling you this? Because I'm telling you that I would love to hang this wallpaper in that area, like in the piano room area, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to because of the humidity issues. So I just wanted to share it with you in case you live in a place where you can hang wallpaper, I will find a project to do with it. I think it would be absolutely stunning, beautiful on like the top quarter with like beadboard down below or something. Oh God, I would love it in our bathroom because I kind of want to do like deeper, darker vibe. The bathroom would be the worst place for me to put it, but I would love to. I digress. But I have so many more things to share with you. I will link you down below to my Amazon storefront where you can see all of my vintage vibes picks, which will give you a little bit of a sneak peek, though I'm holding some stuff back, of some of the stuff I'm going to share with you soon. But I have to like finish it because some of it's like project related stuff. So I don't just want to like show you the item. I want to like show you the item in use so you can see it's practicality. Most of it's not practical, but it is pretty. So go follow my Amazon storefront. You can check out the list there if you want to see more. Those are some of my vintage vibes, Amazon home finds. Let me know if you have found anything amazing at Amazon that's like a vintage vibe, vintage style. I'd love to know about it. And let me know if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it.